Hey everyone, I have little to no voice today, so I'm gonna try to hurry, but we went to Aldi's and Walmart only this week. We did not go to Sam's, just short time frame. And also, I challenged myself to do under $200 this week because when I was cleaning out our deep freeze to put just our post-vacation food in there and stuff, I found some other meats that needed used up in the other freezer. So I'm trying to challenge myself to finish off some of the stuff we already had, but let me turn around and show you what I picked up to add to what we already had for under $200 for a week of groceries for a family of six from Aldi's and Walmart. Starting with Aldi's in the front and Walmart in the back, we have our pizza Friday and we also are doing an at-home Saturday. So I bought enough pizza to do for the six of us for tonight and leftovers for lunch for tomorrow. We have the cheese one, the uh, thin crust mega meat, the, can't lift it, the supreme, and we also have the just pepperoni. Two loaves of the honey wheat bread. It is now over 20 cents difference between this and the split top wheat we used to get, and it's still a wheat bread, so this is what we're gonna do for sandwiches and stuff this week. Meal plan will be at the end. Uh, two packs of the Kobe Jack cheese. I actually wasn't on my meal plan. I was gonna do like, meat sandwiches a couple times this week but all these had no deli meat at all so we're gonna do cheese sandwiches this week instead prosciutto provolone and the little breadstick packs these are for two lunches for matt for this week the polska sausage is to go with two different meals we have one bag of baby carrots to add some vegetables for our lunches one pack of the italian dry salami is also for matt's lunches for this week the moose tracks ice cream is mostly for the kids for their pizza friday they get one dessert a week so this is what we pick for this week we do not have anybody in our home that's actually vegan but certified vegan food means that there is absolutely no dairy in it which also means no lactose i have a lactose intolerant one so these are just for her it says the uh, forest fruit one non-dairy frozen dessert bar and she just thought that looked really good so she's going to try those this week and see if she liked them also a new freezer thing that i've never seen before this prince edward medley i've never even heard of like a prince edward vegetable medley my flexitarian and i looked at this and we both liked it so we decided to go ahead and try it one bag of the pears because it's not really that common for us to find pears for like enough for all six of us and they're not really in season a lot so while we have them we're going to get them high pole of orange juice for those of us who like to chew our orange juice for breakfast and the calcium and vitamin d for those of us who do not one gallon of the two percent milk three containers of the sour cream and that is it from aldi's and all that i love these bags from aldi's because i can actually put two orange juice in here all the sour cream and then the the frozen items were all in here so it's a decent sized bag let's move on to walmart my youngest found these we were looking for hot dog buns to go with our hot dogs i'll show you those in a minute and she found the sweet hawaiian ones that's the sam's choice brand i don't see them in any other store so we decided to go ahead and splurge and do those for this week for our hot dog buns one bottle of the barbecue sauce to go with some smoked sausages we found in our stock at freezer two dr pepper zero sugars for matt he's the only one that drinks uh caffeinated carbonated beverages one bag of the honey barbecue chicken strips are for the kids to go with their pizza tonight uh, Matt and I found a pack of uh, bone-in chicken wings that we're going to air fry for ourselves for tonight. So I got those to go for the kids because they prefer the boneless ones. Um, the Cold Stone Coffee Creamer. If you've not checked out Life with the Love Days and her or her Walmart grocery hauls, check her out. I'll link her up in the cards. But she has me trying this one, and I love it with almost every flavor of coffee that we have right now so i get this one for whenever i don't want blueberry and then when i do want blueberry this walmart limited edition one is really good also for matt he uses these in the, in the mornings especially when it's hot for his caffeine this is the my camera's not focusing so this is strawberry pineapple smash the tropical fusion and the akai berry storm and again these are uh, mios they're an, a caffeine source and he can add them to just like tap water in the morning and drink it and go the ballpark beef 16 pack is the size that we end up getting for a family of six. Uh, we also do coleslaw with our hot dogs usually to go with it. The potato salad is actually going to go with frozen burger patties and leftover burger buns from last week. Because if you can hear my voice, we had a couple days where mom didn't cook. So, <laughs> And then the checkers. We found out that they actually are selling these in bulk size bags. So we picked up a bulk size of the checkers fries for this week. for our grocery haul for this week thank you to all of our members for supporting our content and helping us to be able to continue making our content thank you to all of our subscribers for watching liking and commenting and we will see you next time